Welcome back to the channel guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to work with the Material tab navigator in React Navigation. Let's have a look at what we're going to be building. The first tab navigator will be the Material tab navigator with a shifting property in which the label shows only for the icons that are active. The second one will be the top Material tab navigator, which can be clicked as well as swiped. And the last one will be the bottom tab navigator, which can be clicked and also we can swipe it. So here in front of me, I have an empty React Native project that I've created with Expo, opened up in my favorite code editor, Visual Studio Code. As always, let's first start by installing React Navigation. So let's open up the terminal. I'll use the integrated terminal inside Visual Studio Code. Inside our project folder, let's type npm install React Navigation. And we'll install a specific version to make sure that this video works. So we'll say 2.0.1 is the version that we're looking for. Once that's installed, for the Material tab navigator, the bottom one, we need to install another dependency. So type npm install react navigation material bottom tabs. And let's install version 0.1.2. Once that's done, we're good to go. So let's start by importing our create material bottom tab navigator. from react navigation material bottom tabs this is the only tab navigator which is not imported from react navigation and is imported from a separate react navigation material bottom tabs that we had just installed now let's create our material bottom tab navigator let's type export default create material bottom tab navigator and let's first remove this export default from app here and put in two screens. The first one is home and let's point that to a screen named home screen. Let's call the second one settings and it points to the settings screen. Let's create these two screens now. So let's rename app to home screen. And let's duplicate this home screen class and rename that to settings. So settings screen. And now we can see we have our two tabs. The first one is the home tab and the second one is the settings tab. Let's just rename this text here to settings so that it's clearer for us. And there our tabs are changing. So the options on the create material tab navigator are quite limited. Again, we have a router config that's available to us. So come here at the bottom. And before the closing rounded bracket, let's put in two curly braces and we'll say initial route name. Let's point that to settings. So there we can change our initial route if you want. We also have the option of order and in that we can make settings the first tab and home the second tab. There we can see the tabs are switched places. And also we can set the active tint color Let's set it to orange. So there the color of our text has changed to orange. We don't have an option of setting the inactive tint color on this particular tab navigator. Now let's go ahead and set icons for our particular tabs. So for the home screen, let's put in navigation options here. These are specific to the particular tab and we put in tab bar label. Let's leave it as home and we'll put in tab bar icon. Pass in a tint color prop here. This will take the tint color from the active tint color that we set at the bottom right now. And we'll pass in an icon with the name of iOS home and a color of the tint color that we passed. Let's give it a size of 24. And let's import icon as well. So here at the top, let's import icon from React Native vector icons slash ionicons. This is already available to us from Expo. In case you're using React Native, you'll have to install React Native vector icons separately. So as we can see here, we're getting our icon for our home tab. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment out this order here and the initial route name. I'm just going to set it back to home for simplicity. Let's copy these navigation options here into our settings tab and rename the icon to iOS settings. 
Now by default, this material tab navigator has this cool feature called shifting. If we just create more than three tabs, so I'm just going to duplicate the settings tab twice without creating any more classes. I'm just going to rename these tabs. So I'm just going to call this profile, rename this to profile and call this one feed and rename this to feed. Let's save that out. So as you can see over here, the icon that's selected is the one that has a label at the bottom. The others don't. When you click on them, it moves in nicely with the text at the bottom. This property is called shifting and you can set shifting to false if you don't want this. By default, it's true when you have more than three tabs. Let's just change this active tint color to white and that just looks much better. If you set shifting to true here and you get rid of these two tabs, it should also be enabled for just two tabs. There you can see it's still working. So the last tab navigator that we're left with is a create material top tab navigator, which also allows us to make that a bottom navigator and enable swiping. So let's see how we're going to do that at the top here. Let's import create material top tab navigator from react navigation. Next, let's change this material bottom tab navigator to, to create material top tab navigator. Let's save that out. And as we can see, our tab navigator has moved to the top, but it is hidden behind the notch here. So what we need to do over here is we need to import something known as safe area view, which is available to us from react native. Now earlier we had to import it from react navigation. So instead of directly exporting our tab navigator, we'll pass it through a class. So let's say export default class app extends component. Inside this put in a render and here we'll return the safe area view that we created. And inside this we'll pass in our tab navigator. So for that, let's store our tab navigator into a constant called app tab navigator. You can name it whatever you like. And here let's pass in the app tab navigator. As you can see, we still can't see anything. That's because we need to put in a style here on our safe area view, which gives it a flex of one. And there we can see that our tab is now below the notch. Now the material top tab navigator has a lot more options available. Let's start by setting the background color. So here let's get rid of shifting and the active tint color and we'll pass in tab bar options. We'll say active tint color is orange here. Inactive tint color. Let's make that gray. Let's pass in a style here, which is for the complete tab navigator. And let's say background color. Let's give it a nice gray. And let's also pass this background color to our safe area view. So here let's pass in that. And now we can see our tabs look much better. As we can see, we can swipe here as well to change the tabs. Now, as we can see, we're getting this border bottom here. Suppose we want to get rid of that. We have to set something known as indicator style and set the height to zero. And there we don't have that indicator at the bottom. Also, we just need to change the settings tab bar label to settings. And we can see we can't see our icons right now. So to show the icons, let's just set show icons to true. So in our tab bar options, let's set show icons true. And there we can see our icons again. Now all we need to do to bring this tab navigator to the bottom is put in a property here called tab bar position and set that to bottom. And there you can see our tab bar has come here to the bottom. It's clickable and swipeable as well. If you want to disable the swipe, all you need to do is put in swipe enabled here and set that to false. And now you won't be able to swipe. You can also enable swipe and disable the animations. So we say animation enabled equal to false. So you'll be able to swipe, but the animations for switching tabs will be disabled here. If you want, you can set the tab bar style by giving it a border top width of say 0.5 and a border top color of gray. And there we can get a nice border top for our tab navigator as well.
So as you can see, there are various types of tab navigators that we can create. I've tried to cover as much as possible in terms of their configuration. I hope you guys like this. Please like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.